Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer and welcome to Best Month Ever. I'd like to thank the uh, publisher at Crate Beta for sending us a key to showcase this for you guys in early access. The release date will be the 5th of May 2022. So a little bit about the game. Take part in a roller coaster of emotions with Louise embarking on a road trip of a lifetime through the late 1960s USA, trying to show her son Mitch how to navigate the often cruel modern world. So we get to see what it takes to be a mother. Why are you who you are? Everything we do will have consequences and everybody has their story. So a couple of the key features is there's a tangible system of dialogue and actions influence directly righteousness, confidence and relations. Nine different endings uh, dependable on your choices in key moments of the game. Beautiful stylized artwork and uh, quick time events to check your reflexes and feel the adrenaline pumping. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to do a little bit of the story just to give you a little bit of a teaser. And uh, after release, we will look more into the game and maybe we'll live stream it and we'll see what the whole story has to offer. 69 was a strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown-up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Wait for me in the car. Gonna be long, Mom. Okay, so we're here into the game already. Okay, so we're here into the game. Um, okay, I'm playing as Mitch. Gonna be long, Mom. Let's explain the goal to him. How long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. There we go. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Gotta do this alone. Okay, Mitch's character. Game choices change Mitch's personal characteristics. The combination of these traits will determine what kind of person Mitch becomes as an adult. Okay, so we got righteousness, determine Mitch's attitude towards the law and following the rules. Uh, confidence determines Mitch's uh, self assurances. Okay, and uh, relations describe Mitch's attitude towards other people. So we got to think pretty quickly, how are we going to play this? I think what we want to do is making the best, like as anyone would do as a parent, we want the best for their children. So kind of what I'd go for. Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. Okay, uh, we can be direct, talk to the waitress, talk to the old man. Let's talk to the waitress. I came to say goodbye, Betty. What? You're leaving? I want to spend more time with my kid. Something happened? No, I just feel like I don't even know who he is. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mug? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, you can't mess with Hut when he's reading. But you can give it a shot. Hey, guys. 
could be. I can see, hear, and smell. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? I figured it's time to hit the road. Hell yeah. Always knew you'd get it, Lou. Saddle up with us. Easy now, Wyatt. Hold your horses before you fall off. Those guys were wild, but harmless. Just wanted to be free. I heard they were killed by a big rig a year later. Boring. Okay, we don't have a lot of options, but I think looking in at someone else's car is not a good thing. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Oh, thanks. You're a good boy. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, oh almost forgot. Got something for you. Okay, so I've got a U.S. Army lighter by the looks of things. Iwo Jima? <laughs> Old times. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. So cool. Thanks. I mean, who gives a kid a lighter? <laughs> okay, all the important decisions Mitch makes during his dialogue also shape his personality. Go find your mother. Okay, I can't get in that way. Ah, uh, look through the window. What the hell are you still doing here? You don't work here no more. I want to talk about my pay. There you go. Me as well, because I want to talk to you too. Come into my office. I have a bad feeling about this. Fifty bucks, sweetheart. Express surprise or deny? What are you talking about? That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my eighty-five bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have.
have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? Maybe I could find some time, but for what? I don't know how lonely Mr. Hutt gets in here. Go back in the can with your girly mag. You're not getting a dime, you arrogant cunt. I know your type. Playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. Fine. Last chance. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I've got a better idea. Ah, you bitch! Mom! So, how did it go? in my overtime. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. I'm taking the money, not you. You fucking bitch! I'll fuck you up! out of my joint hey why is it just me or is fatso asking for me nah billy it's not just you keep on trucking louise thanks talking nonsense but his karma just caught up with him what's karma I'll tell you later where'd you get this lighter it's Iwo Jima got it from Alvin can I borrow it for a sec wait for me in the car okay Well, that's I not a good you. impressions from your mother, is it? This will be the best month ever. to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Great. I hope he dies. <clears throat> You'll regret this. I doubt it. I'll never come back. 
One day you'll beg me to take you back. Later, Mom told me coming back home was the stupidest idea she'd ever had. The house is so huge. What are we waiting for? Must be Butch. And who are you? The police? Louise, I'm your auntie. I don't know you. Is your mom around? Mom! Some ants here. Louise? I missed you guys so much. Sorry, Lou. My hands are messy. Sure. Sorry for dropping in on you like this. And who's that? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. Why? Because he's colored. What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Come on in. Passing through? No, I'd like to stay a while. Unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. Kathy? Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Louise. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Um, Louise wants to stay with us. But it's not the best time, right? It couldn't have worked out better. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk? Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you Granny me. Just Margaret, if you must. Understood? Can I say that too? Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flour is. Can you do that? Your turn. My dad was in the Marines, and you know what he said about the blacks? Can't wait to hear it. He said the blacks are strong and dumb, but you're not even strong. Did he also tell you you look like a lard ass? Back off or I'll mess you up. But you can't throw either. Come on, your turn.
knucklehead. Bet you'll miss again. What's the bet? The loser will say, I'm a knucklehead. Deal. Not okay. gonna get it. Hopefully it slows it down this time. Oh, no. Come on. There's a lot riding on this. Ah, oh, yes. Gold medal at the Olympics. You lost. Say it. I'm... The king! Cheater. Okay, now I choose the target. We aim for the oil can. Piece of cake. I start. Lucky shot. I'm through the window. Scram! Butch, Mitch, where the hell are you? Don't tell her it was me. What's in it for me? I'll give you my dinner sandwich. I don't want your sandwich. So what you want? At dinner, you'll say that you love Black Brothers. Uh, how's that? Simple. You say, I love Black Brothers, loud and clear. Well, okay, I guess. Deal. Come out. Who broke the window? What's going on? Come on, spill it. I did. Back to your room and not a peep until dinner. Grandpa will punish you when he gets back. Lou, can we talk? Louise. You've got to pay for the window. It's all I've got. Take it. I'll pay for you, but you've got to get out of here. Before Grandpa Elijah gets back. I have to stay here, Kathy. I'll talk to him. You won't have it. It's going to cost money to have you here, you know? It's not about me. Lou, can you help me with something upstairs? Don't let them use you. I saw everything through the window. What did you see? Butch throwing a rock through the window. What? Surprise. Kathy will do anything to keep Butch out of this. Go to your boy. He's playing in Butch's room. Auntie had a shrine to her husband there. He died in Vietnam and became the hero of the house.
All they had were memories. This is a photo of grandfather's family just after having arrived to the States from Poland. They turned more American than Americans. There was a rifle on the wall, always loaded in case some communist showed up at their doorstep. Mom told me that Auntie Kathy read fairy tales for her at night. Her mother had never done that, and neither did mine. Grandpa's almost here. Go upstairs and call the boys for dinner. Fine. Butch, mom's calling you. She took out a bag of chips. Hmm, that's not how I remembered that room. Mom, check out these awesome toys Butch has. I guess all he plays is war. Boys always play war. Right. And then you perish in war. Like Butch's dad? Yes. Like my dad? <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your dad went missing in action in peacetime. Will he ever be found? Butch has some cool posters. Look. wouldn't allow. We live in his house. That's exactly our problem. Sure, go on, get smashed so the whole world can see how low this family has fallen. I don't want them to argue. You shouldn't have lied about Father Judah. It wasn't a lie. One day, Daddy will leave us because of your lies, or Grandpa will kick him out. Are you mad at me for the window? Why did you say it was you? To get it over with. You'll see at dinner. You shouldn't take the blame. It's just a window. I know, but tell the truth, okay? Fine. But it would be funny at dinner. I think it's going to be funny anyway. Anyhow, how do you like it here? Do you want to stay longer? Do you? Yes. I want to be where you are. Louise, Grandpa's back. Roll call time. Come on. Roll call? Yep. Come meet your great-grandfather. I could see how that house was changing her, and not for the better. It was far worse than the sickness which was eating her from inside. I was dreading what would happen if she decided to stay there, and I wanted to go away, but more attractions were still to come.
Enough! Enough of the toys! You practice for two years and still can't stay in tune! That's when I understood why I should have taken the blame for breaking the window, and that we needed to get out of there. Grandpa, can Mitch play? L Louise? Mitch? Fred Pitt can play a fiddle? Better than Fatso, for sure. Mitch! <laughs> Fresh just like his mummy. Maybe we should start dinner. No, no. Let you show what is got. <laughs> can get any worse, can it? Louise, you've grown. Is this gifted boy your son? Apologize to Father Judah for your lies this instant. But it's all true, Mommy. Do we really have to do it this way? If you can't take care of this, I will. No need. Kids make things up sometimes. And let us live in this truth for your glory. Amen. What was it you were trying to tell me earlier, Kathy? Uh, the boys were playing and the window got broken. Broken by itself? I mean, Louise, perhaps you know which boy broke the window? It was Butch. Not quite. They both broke it. But it was Butch who threw the rock. This makes no sense. He's never done that before. Aren't you going to say something, Mom? You saw the whole thing. I only heard Mitch say, throw it. <laughs> what a mad house. <laughs> Just replace the glass because it struck it. Let's see. It's getting cold. Enjoy. This may not be the best time, Grandpa, but can we talk? No time like now. I'll get to the point then. Can my son and I stay here a while? Does he know how to read? His name is Mitch, and yes, he can read. Take the holy book. It's on the table. But I'm supposed to do the reading. Mitch is our guest, sweetheart. Now get on your stool so we can all see you. Grandpa? Quiet. Luke 15, 11. Be so kind and read it aloud, boy. Father, give me the share of the estate I have coming to me. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all he had and traveled to a distant country where he squandered his estate in foolish living. After he had spent everything, a severe famine struck that country. Enough. Do you know what's that about, kid? 
about the prodigal son? About family being the most important thing. Sis. Louis, I'm happy you have found your way home. So am I. I was the only one who wasn't happy. Welcome back home, my little girl. Mom, can I have a black cousin? I'm not done yet. It was God's will for Lou to return to us, right, Lou? I guess so. It's also his will that we share this moment with our good family friend. The same who has been with us for 30 years. The same whom you wronged so terribly. What are you playing, Louise? House. Can I play with you? Mmm, yummy candy. Want some? No, because you already ate it, Father. When we're alone, you can call me Uncle Judd. There's more in my pocket, but I need your help. Can you help me get it out? Louis, apologize to Father Judah for your lie. Say you made it up and rejoin your family. Everybody expects me to apologize. I understand this is the condition for me to be part of this family. Better now than never, Lou. Father Judah, will you accept my apology? Only if you feel compelled. I apologize that as an eight-year-old, I didn't let you touch me. That I bit your finger when you put it under my dress. That I scratched your face when your hand Louise! Mom, I'm sorry I told you about this. I thought you'd help me. Enough of this. I apologize to you too, Grandpa Elijah. That the fear of you made me pee in my panties. And to you, Kathy, that you had to change my panties in secret. Dinner is over! Get me out of here, Judah. Sit down, I'm not done yet. Louise, put the weapon down. I'd like to hear your confession. You are frightening your own son. Mom! <laughs> the truth prevails, thank God. I'm sorry, Louise. Father Judah has touched me too, and did other things far worse. But I was afraid that if I told the truth, they would all hate me just like you. I am shocked, Judah. You knew about this. You all knew. You are crazy. I went crazy long ago. Now, confess, Uncle Judd. You still have candy in your pocket, don't you? Mom, was it wrong for me to take candy from Uncle Judd? You gave candy to my little boy? Give it to me. <laughs> Kathy, let go. I'll take that. Let's go, Mitch. The visit is over. Well, that escalated. Mitch, quick! I 
didn't have the opportunity earlier, so now it's probably our last chance. Dad's been looking for you. What? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. He left his address. Find him. I've never had the guts. Take care of yourself, Kathy. Drive fast. We'll say it was you who killed him. I didn't see the priest getting hit by the bullet. Just some blood on the floor. After that, we drove in silence for a long time. Perhaps the middle of a forest is not the safest place to spend the night, but at least it was quiet and nobody around. I'm sorry, kid. I don't know how to explain all this to you. All I wanted for you was to get to know your family, and that was the stupidest thing I could have done. It wasn't supposed to end like this. Did that priest ever hurt you? Yes, he did. Mom stopped talking, and I was afraid to ask. It's good we didn't stay there. We'll manage, you and me. What kind of place is this? You like it here? I guess so. I used to come here when I couldn't stand home anymore. It was my asylum. What's asylum? A place where you can hide from the whole world. Are fish here? Used to be. Go, find out for yourself. Okay, I'll look for bait worms. There's a shovel in the car. I'll find some firewood. They'll do. Night crawlers. Maybe I'll catch a bigger fish. Are fish here, they'll go for this one. I'm going fishing, Mom. Fine, I'll be right there. Let's see if there's any fish in here. Who taught you how to fish? Alvin. Alvin? The old man from my diner? Yeah. Sometimes we'd go fishing when you were working. I wonder what else you learned when I was working. Many things. When I was your age, my dad, your grandfather, would take me here. He promised to teach me how to fish, but one day he just didn't come home from work. Just didn't come home? Just like that. He was gone and I never saw him again. That wasn't exactly true. Mom saw my grandfather once more, but at a time she really didn't want to see him. Look, the fish are close to the bait. We'll catch one soon. Got it! Oh, she's feisty. I'll manage. Just need to pull her closer to us. another I can teach you you want me to 
Let's try. You gotta wait patiently until the fish is interested in the bait. When you feel the bite, you gotta strike. Then you start reeling her in. Try it. I wasn't thinking about it then, but this was the first time we did something together and had great fun. I didn't know that it was going to be our last time. I was happy, and I thought that this was truly the best month of our lives. I had no clue that Mom was just warming up. Look, something's moving. She's huge. Wait until she takes the bait. Strike! I got it! I got it! Easy now. Just reel her in. She's so huge! Dinner time. Can we roast them over the fire? Sure, kid, but we need to gut them first. Did you do that with Alvin? We always let them go alive. Okay, I'll do it. You start the fire. I didn't know a campfire fish tastes so good. We make a good team. We could open a fried fish joint. You would fish and I would fry them and serve the customers. What would we call this place? Uh, campfire fish. Oh, mom. Why not? Simple and clear. Got a better one, champ? I do. Mitch and Louise's. Damn. I like it. I've been waiting for you to grow up to tell you some things, but... But I'm almost grown up. Almost. Sometimes I think it's me who should grow up. You're still young. You've got time for that. What's that? Fireflies. Never seen them before? They're everywhere. You want to be a grown-up, but you don't know about fireflies. Well, you didn't know how to fish. In that case, let's play a game I used to always beat your grandpa in. Whoever catches the most fireflies into a jar wins. How many did you get, Mom? At least 20. Oh, man. I only got a few. Mother's just better. I know, that's hard to take. It's I just remembered a childhood mystery. As a girl, I wrote a letter and put it in a coffee can. And I hid it in a tree hollow over by those rocks. Really? Is it still there? No idea. But we could find out if you like. Sure, let's go.
Mom, why does Great Grandpa hate me so much? What? Wait. Why are you thinking about that now? No reason. He hates everybody, especially himself. Don't worry about him, okay? We're done with that place. Mom, how will we find that tree? I carved the letter L on it. An adventure! Yay! There's nothing here. I don't see anything either. I'm sure I marked that tree. It was a long time ago, Mom. And trees keep growing. This must be the tree. Look up there. I got it. I wonder what's in the letter. I don't even remember. Let's get back to the fire. Dear Dad, I miss you so much and I'd like to be with you. Mom says that I'm a liar and that you left because of me. I didn't lie. Grandpa and Mom are very mad at me. I don't like them either. Please come and take me away. If I knew where you were, I would run away to be with you. I love you very much. P.S. I don't know where you are now, so I can't send you this letter. I'll put it in a secret place, and when I know your address, I will send it to you. Your little Lou. Did you try to find Grandpa? No. I was dreaming that he would come back for me one day. But he didn't come. When I was 17, I ran away on my own. By then, I was already angry with him for leaving me with them. Where's my dad? I don't know where he is now, but a while ago, we would have probably found him in some bar. He was a vet, like Alvin? <laughs> no, but he played the trumpet beautifully. Is that why you bought me a trumpet? You wanted me to be like him? Yes. I'm gonna show you something now. When I was little, on starry nights, we would lie down with your grandpa by the fire and connect the stars into our own constellations. Want to try? Mm-hmm. In this game, you have to find a new constellation. I start. I see a bird. Where? My turn. I'll start with that star. It's a heart. Now my turn. It you got
got it. Mom, your dad was cool. How was mine? He was cool too. What do we do now? Now we go to sleep. And tomorrow morning we'll pay my good friend a visit. That evening, by the fire, I began to understand what it means to be a grown-up. We were like two people who've been deprived of something in childhood. Right then, I understood that the void I felt was about missing my father. But how can you miss someone you don't know? Okay guys, so we're going to call it there for today. Let me know what you guys think. We've been an hour in. Uh, we, we've seen a little bit of the backstory. Uh, we're now heading into 1961 again. Obviously, this is now going to be the story of how they met uh, and his father. But let me know in the comments down below. Are you interested in seeing some more? Let me know. Maybe we'll do it as a live stream and uh, we'll try and complete the whole story. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Subscribe if you are new. Hit that like button, guys. And other than that for myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.